Memorial Day is a great holiday for bringing Americans together, unless you decide to promote segregation while you do it. A Black Lives Matter group in New York City threw a Memorial Day party and barred anyone who was not black from attending. This is what they said. Being intentional about being around black people is an act of resistance. This is an exclusively black space, so if you do not identify as black and want to come because you love black, pe black people, please respect the space and do not come. Lisa Durden is a political commentator and Black Lives Matter supporter. She joins us tonight. Lisa, thanks for coming on. Thank you. Good to see you again. You're doing well. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I was confused by this because I thought the whole point of Black Lives Matter, one of the points would be to speak out against singling people out on the basis of their race and punishing them for that. Because you can't control what your race is, and yet they seem to be doing that. Explain that to me. What I say to that is boo, hoo, hoo. You white people are angry because you couldn't use your white privilege card whoa, whoa, to get invited Lisa. to the Black Lives Matters all black Memorial Day celebration. Wow. Let me contextualize that for you. Memorial whoa, whoa. Day was no, created I don't want by you to Memorial so, so Day was first created. First of all, I don't want you to contextualize. Right? Oh, I, I need you, to contextualize it because Memorial ask, Day was created by well, hold on. You, black are, you're former slaves in 1865 okay. to honor those individuals who were union soldiers who fought and died for our freedom so Black Lives Matter in that same vein decided to get together with black folks I'm not going to let you filibuster past my to question to make sure that black folks were celebrated for being murdered by racist terrorists I don't, don't want to shut this down I don't want to shut this down mad but at I will that, okay you I'm not mad at that I'm not mad at that I just have a really simple question for you if you yeah, don't ready. like people ex excluding others on the basis of their race and as a society we agree that that's bad I agree it's bad you agree it's bad then why are you doing it? And why are you defending listen, it now? White folks crack me up all of a sudden when we want to have one it's day a universal for value. black folks to focus on ourselves. But you've been having white day forever. You don't say the words anymore because you know it's politically incorrect. But you've had an all white Oscars, all these movies with Man. all white uh, well, if actors, you don't like movie it, after movie after you movie, perpetuating all it? white TV shows with, with white cast over and over and over again. The Bachelorette, it took a Seven seasons from a black bachelorette. Okay. Are you serious? It's, it's hard to believe. I hope you're not speaking for anyone else. I hope there aren't a lot of people well, in this country who Durden. agree I'm with for you. Lisa Durden. I just hope there aren't people watching who agree with you oh, because what watching. you're saying is so hostile and separatist and crazy. It's such a basic violation of what I thought we all agreed on, which is you don't attack people for things they can't control, namely it's not their race. It's not an attack. I'm stating the facts. People I asked give weddings. You, where okay. they exclude children. It doesn't mean they don't like children. They don't know if your kids are going to be monsters and those kids are going to be well behaved. No, so in no. that same vein, we're Black all... Lives Matter decided to have one day where they didn't want white folks who were going to be off the rails. They don't know if you're going to be the ones behaved on for them or the ones who are there against them. So they Let me just ask you a quick question. Go right Do ahead. you think it's racist to exclude people on the basis of their skin color. I think it's racist when you've been excluding people for hundreds and hundreds of years. Why don't you answer my question and, and stop with your silly lectures? Forced, I'm asking you a very we're simple forced question. we to come together collectively to celebrate ourselves because you guys won't. You are the larger society. Let's be Ooh, real here. You, you guys, I'm not talking, I'm talking about what I thought we all believed. Let me ask you this. Do you think it would be fair if white people did come to a Black Lives Matter celebration? They do to all have the them, time. When you then, look at Black Lives Matter. Do you use Matters, the same water? Marches, that they do? And you see Black Lives Matter coming together collectively for different uh, issues. You see people of all races. So we do accept them this particular day. They said, stay your asses out. We want to oh. celebrate today. Okay. We don't want anybody going against us today. And you can't celebrate if someone who doesn't look like you is around? Yes, you can, but you can you're also demented, say, I don't want actually. to do it. It's a personal you're choice. You're sick. And what you're saying is disgusting. And if you were a Nazi, I would say Ooh. the same thing to you. Luckily, I'm not a Nazi. Because what you're saying is indistinguishable from what they are saying, which is, I don't care your opinions. I don't care your views, your life experience, your intentions. All I care about is the way you look, something that you can't control. And on that basis alone, I'm judging you and I'm hostile to you. That's the case you're making. And it's divine and wrong and it's amazing that you didn't have to say that out loud but it, I, well, I can't believe you're well, making the case you're making. Unfortunately, when you have a racist society like America, you force individuals to come together collectively to make sure that they have a voice. And that's this unfortunate is what that the racism has like. caused okay. people to come together let me, collectively. Let me ask you a question. Is there a single white person in America you, know, you would have let into this 
now, into I, the celebration. I, I'm not. I'm not Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter is a You're movement. You're just an apologist. However, for this. however, however. I can respect the decision. It doesn't mean it's a decision I would have made. Maybe I would have. Just like a wedding where I might say your kids can't bring their badasses in my okay. wedding. Children are not an ethnic group. Every it person matter. in You're the world, it does matter. You're discriminating against people with kids. You're saying don't bring your badass kids. W would it be okay? Yeah, but you see, and it's not, okay. Okay, but w there are white adults and Asian adults and Hispanic adults. And presumably, they're basically the same as black we adults, have, we, but you we, don't agree with that. We have gay pride parades. We have Puerto Rican day parades. We and have all Rican kinds of parades and, and days are allowed. that honor individuals. We, we, have, we have Mother's Day. We have Father's and Day. fathers so are allowed to day, participate just take in that. Your mama out, I'm not, not sure you're capable of having this conversation, so I'm going to end it now. Let me uh, ask you one last, let me ask you one last question, and be totally honest with yes. this. Do the people in your world, your parents, your siblings, your kids, your friends, do they agree with you on this? My family respects my right to free speech. No, don't give me that dumb answer. I mean, do they agree, agree with what you just said? Do, do you know a lot of people thing. who agree with right what you just said? Speech. Whatever. No one's contesting I'll it. See you stop. Next stop, stop, on stop your show. that. You'll be do you know a lot again. of people who agree with oh, you? Oh, Tucker, like, I'm going to see you again in less than a month. Ratings are going up. I don't even know what you're talking about, and I'm not sure I look forward to it. But thanks for coming on tonight, Lisa.